oh, it just wants to be ridden. It's like, what have you been doing with me? Come on, man. It's butter, baby. That fork, the Enix. <laughs> oh! I just went over. I'm complimenting you, baby. Just wants to lay here with me. I'm just, I'm complimenting you. It's okay. Come here. It'll be all right, GT Aggressor Pro. It'll be okay. All right, I know I ain't taking you out in a while, okay? It's just there's a lot of other bikes right now, okay? There's a lot of other bikes out there and, you know, I mean, you know, you got loose stuff here and there and I'm not picking on you. It just, we're gonna bring you back soon, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna get there. Get off my hand! I made love! Wolf Tick Nation, thank you guys for tuning in to once again another initial impressions Wolf Tick video episode. Because uh, I don't, I, 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 mean, I will tell you. I, first of all, it was a while back. Somebody said we got to check this bike out. That it was on sale, super cheap. And this, they said that this is by far the best budget bike you can buy for the money. I would love to give whoever it is credit. And I'm sorry, normal real time I do, review. I didn't like, hey, screenshot it. It was me, and we'll might pin it or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll so pin it once guys, you see this. Maybe we'll pin it. But let, stop. Listen, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm all about this. I don't remember. I don't know anything about the bike. You me don't know anything about the bike. I know I, the we price. forgot the name. We even forgot the name. There it is. Did we order a bike? What was it called? We couldn't remember the name. What Luckily, is this? we Royce Union. Yeah. Well, now we know. It's a Royce Union, guys. Nineteen <laughs> since nineteen. Was that Royce or Hoist? If, if you're in MMA, that's Hoist. Yeah, it's Hoist know. Union. We know nothing about. It. Yeah, we know nothing. We just about know it's supposed to be know? the best budget bike you can buy for the money. The price is ridiculous. It's we ridiculous might have to price. show the price. We might have to show the price in the thumbnail. Okay. Even though it's not going to stay that way. $252. Now that's out the door. Out the door. On today's episode, we're going to be doing initial impressions on this bike. We're going to show you exactly what it is. We're going to find out what it is all together. Yeah, we're we have be, no idea. We're going to be weighing this bike. I yeah. don't know what this thing has. I so, know nothing about it. Really, guys, it's completely serious. Don't even know what color it is. But, no, I have uh, man, no idea. Before we open this thing, please, guys, do your boys a little favor. Okay, show some love. Give us a big old thumbs up, all right, if you like New Bike Day. And uh, hit that subscribe button if you're any part of the Wolf Tick Nation. Are you guys ready? To open excited. this up. Let's see what we got. All right. It looks oh. like an Ardor. I was just going to say it looks like an Ardor. Dude, it says oh. Royce Union right there on the inside of the frame. The, the, oh, oh, whoa. Is that a two? Whoa. It's a that three. Two, is it two? Oh, it's a two by. We got a two by. That looks kind of nice. Hang on. Let me move this camera up. My, yeah. my favorite thing so far is the color. Okay. The color. I love the color. It's really it's nice. It's like just a little, like an Ardor. Is it, is it the same color as Ardor or a tiny bit darker? It's, it's maybe, I think it's the same I color. Scoot out of the way just a little bit no, so they can I'm, see right there. I'm, that I cassette's a little large. Cassettes? It, it's, it's a, a two by. What yeah, is that? It's a free wheel. It's a free wheel. Dude, is it a free wheel? It's no, free it's wheel. not. And it's 11. It's not. Is it? Is it really a free wheel? It's an 11 wheel? speed. It's, it's an 11, 11 speed, speed. Yep. With two, two by 11 speed. 11 speed. Whoa! Whoa! There's no way. There's no. There's Dude. no way. What is that? This is Dude, a Shimano no Dior way. XT Dynasys 11 with a clutch. No, it's not. <laughs> Dude, it's got a clutch Something's, on it. There's no way. There's no way we just bought this for 250 or 252 whatever. There's no way. Look, this is not real. Open first. All right, and here we've got some uh, steel pedals. Okay, steel well, pedals. Well, okay. Watch the shins. Uh, we've got a manual with a bike tool, Royce Union, with uh, some other tools inside of it. Okay, quick release. Some reflectors. We will not be putting the reflectors on this thing. Uh, guys, we're going to be taking this thing on everybody's favorite trail. That's the cat's meow. All right. Oh, it's going to be easy to get some air on this thing. Yeah! We're going to be taking it down that trail, doing are a real time review. Are those WTB rims? Uh, those are WTB wheels. Is this a 29er? It should be. I think it's a 29 or small. I think oh, that was the whole thing. Oh, it's sized. Point. Yes, I believe it was a small. 29 by 2.10 tires. I think that was the only thing I I, I, I know was what it was, it was supposed to be a small. Well, you just like bumped that. me right out of it. Yeah, I got to get you out of the way here. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm out. It says 15 inch frame. That's a, That'd be a small. That's a small. It's a 15 inch frame. Dude. Everybody in the Wolf Tick Nation, we we've got to we've got to figure out where we order this. I don't even remember the website. Two hundred and fifty-two. We have got to get this out Holy there. I what? Holy! 
Whoa! It's got hydraulic brakes. No, it does not. It's got hydraulic brakes. No, it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> There's no way. It's got hydraulic brakes. Dude, that's crazy. I'm, Guys, we have a deal. I'm never at a loss for words. And even the Shimano Olivio um, 2x uh, derailleur It looks up front. nice. I mean, this is. Here, move that, hold that bar right I, there. I'm, I'm a little. I'm freaking out. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna freak out. I'm already freaking out. There's we got no hydraulic way. brakes. It's such a good looking bike, right? I've gotta reach, I got, is, I'm gonna have to check the credit This is what too. I wanna see. Check this out. Right up here. Let's see if this head tube, do you think it's a straight steer or a tapered? If it's a tapered, I, I mean. At this point, I, I don't even think it matters. No, at this point, but, it doesn't. It doesn't. Let's just see. I don't even think it matters. Because either way, it's, if something's a 44, is that tapered? Or is it, is that tapered? Or is that vapored? Okay, it looks like it's favored. favored. The head, but we'll get into positive and negatives, but right yeah. now, I, I'm... Uh, uh, wow. Wow. $252? Let me... I'm, 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 I'm sad, I have to look it up. There's no way. There's no way that happened. Something Dude! Happened. What? It's a WTB Volt you saddle. you got to be kidding me. Look at the saddle, guys. Dude. What? Okay, this right here Whoever has got to be told a told us about this budget. bike, thank you. I'm talking over you. Okay, let's see what size the seat post tube is. I'm, 27.2 millimeter I'm, seat post tube. I'm going to look this up. Okay, 27.2. 27.2. Okay. It's not internal saddle. routing, right? What was that? There's no internal routing. No, no, okay. no internal Which, routing. I'm good on the rest, but I just wonder if there was for a drop. Well, I mean, just just the group set alone. Dude. Like, guys, this right here only comes once in a while. Just the group set Who alone this never and having like hydraulic this. brakes. I mean, that group set is probably, uh, what, 150, 160, somewhere around there. I mean, just to put that group set I, together. I mean, I, yeah... It, Oh, yeah, I think you're right. I mean, um, probably somewhere around what? there. It's so long ago. I can't remember. I think I used the this one. Dude, that's just crazy. Two hundred fifty-two dollars. I'm I'm, I'm over here reeling. I can't. We we'll definitely have to clean those freaking rotors. Those things are oily. They got oil all well, over. Well, don't them. spin them on the pads. Yeah. This might be, this might be the greatest budget purchase at that price at all. If it's right, I'm looking it up to see what we spent. Two hundred and fifty-two eighty-nine. Damn. That's and that's out. That's the charge price. That's not. That's the final price. Final price, free shipping. Two fifty two eighty nine. Hey, whoever gave us a heads up on yes. this bike again, leave in the comments if it was really you. We'll uh, we're gonna pin your comment on this and the real time review. Just just because this is for two hundred fifty two dollars. Well, this is they, they have to get some kind of drunken eBay award. Yeah, though. definitely a drunken eBay award goes to whoever yeah, it whoever was. that is. Wow. So the front chain ring, what I like is it's actually a narrow wide and it's stamped twenty eight on the smaller and thirty eight on the bigger. That is cool, man. Like some of the quality stuff here. Uh, crank arms are Nico crank arms, like that uh, sill bottom bracket brand. Oh yeah. Um, uh, we've got we've That's got some pretty, or Neko, whatever, whatever whatever it is. We've, we've got some pretty that. cool stuff on this bike guys um let's go ahead and do this let's what? build this thing up um, yeah. and then we're gonna do a once over on this bike we're gonna weigh it um I am going to say that this is going to be one of the lightest bikes now you remember the so. able bike is a 29er as well that bike was super light this one right here this box weighed nothing like really when I carried it over it didn't weigh okay. anything so your so, guess uh, is this, you think it's sub 30. Yeah, I think it's sub 30. Wow. I think this is going to be a sub 30 bike. Wow. Um, and even considering it's a small frame, that makes complete sense. Let's get this thing. Let's take it out of the box. Let me put it together. Give us a big old thumbs up, please. And then uh, we'll get to specking this thing out. Yeah, and then we'll try to get our senses. We'll try to get it together. We're, a little, we're both a little freaked out. Yeah, there's something I want to check real quick. Um, I'm seeing some... I'm seeing this crown race, and it looks like it's aluminum, uh -huh. and it's super smooth. And the good thing is, whenever I see an aluminum crown race, it always reminds me of like a good quality headset. And this is a Nico headset um, with a Nico stem cap or a Neko, however you want to say. It. But I'm gonna pull this stem cap bolt off there. I want to look at the uh, headset and see exactly if it's like sealed bearings yeah, or what. Yeah, I agree. I agree um, totally. All right, so we got a bunch of aluminum spacers, which is nice. Okay. And we are gonna have sealed bearings. Wow. Yeah, so we've got front okay. end, our top and bottom sealed bearings, guys. 44s? Yeah, 44, they're stamped 44. Uh, 44 millimeter head tube. Um, dude, this thing is this thing's clean. This right here, you guys let me know. I mean, I'll let the cat out of the bag. This is kind of a negative for me. Um, I do ride with a multi-tool, I think it's the Sloth Squatch. Um, you know, but one of the things that I don't like is I, I know a lot of riders prefer to, you know, of course have a dropper. Um, and a lot of you guys prefer not to have a, um, or to have to not have a quick release um, seat post clamp. 
This here is uh, it's not a quick release. I like a quick release because I can just undo it, drop my seat like post. Your standing room only. Yeah, I like my standing room only. So that's kind of a downside to me yeah. um, to have it's an, this. It's not a bad, I mean, it's an easy you know. fix. Yeah, and a lot of people but. go, well, the reason it's like that is because it's not a cross country bike. We understand that. Yeah. Um, you know, but it's a, just a little bit of a preference. Yeah. And then sometimes you get annoyed because a lot of the uh, quick releases don't work. You know. Round three. That too. But I love that. I love that. Yeah. Damn seat post drops all the way down where the seat is just about rubbing with the tire. So that's great. I think a quick release for that's like five bucks, right? Something yeah. Like might as well just get a dropper for this thing because I have well, a feeling we might really like it. <laughs> well, yeah, so do I. But I'm just that one of the things I'm ready to look for once you get this set up is does it have? I know it don't have internal routing for anything else, but does it have a way to internally route a dropper? Yeah. We'll, we'll be taking a look at that. That's yeah. another thing too is these pedals. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, I don't want to go into the positive and negatives. Not yet. But yeah. I do want to say I, some I prefer it. plastic pedals. Uh, until you replace it with other pedals. Yeah, and the reason I prefer plastic pedals is, I mean, these guys here are steel, right? And the reason I prefer plastic, I, I mean, I guess you could say weight savings would be one of them. But the main thing is these are crap. These are like little kid pedals. They're tiny. And my feet are probably going to slip off of these. And when they do, I'm going to scar my shins up really bad. Two hundred and fifty-two dollars. And we're not. We paid for this, and we're not made. There's no. We have no affiliate link for this bike. Hell, I hope we have an affiliate link for this bike. I don't know. Because a bunch of people need to buy it, and we should yeah. help the channel. But I don't think. I mean, if they want a budget bike to build on, you know, I mean, just start off uh, out the gate. I mean, really, this bike right now to me is looking like. Now, just looking at it right now, I'm looking at you know tires, a fork. A stem. It well stem to your personal liking. That stem is massive. And then maybe uh, would you stop? I got greasy fingers. But I mean, there's not there's not a lot that's going to be needed on this bike. I don't think. We don't know yet. We haven't had the real time review. Don't know. We haven't even shifted through it yet. All right, guys. Here it is. This is the Royce Union RHT 15 inch 29er mountain bike. Uh, small. Size small. Hmm. Right. Um, I'm so looking forward to weighing this thing. I think it's going to be super light. Did you measure the frame? No, I didn't measure the frame. You shouldn't measure Let me measure it real quick. Yep, 15 inches. Okay. Right at 15 inches. Uh, let's go ahead and start out with everybody's favorite magnet test, okay? The frame is aluminum, okay? The wheel set is aluminum. The crank arms are aluminum. The fork is steel, okay? The handlebars, ooh, I was expecting them to stick. Those are aluminum. Yeah. Stem, aluminum. Seat post tube, aluminum. Uh, We're going to have a pretty light bike here. How about the, well, I mean, all, we've seen all aluminum before be heavy. What about the, the levers? The levers? They're steel. Okay. Stamped out steel. All right, guys, um, let's start out with the specs on this thing. Let's start out with the wheel set, okay? 29 inch WTB wheel set. Quick release, both front and rear. The hubs are Quando high performance hubs, okay? Uh, they are drilled out for Schrader, not Presta. I prefer Schrader because Presta or Schrader will fit. And our mm -hmm. boil racks, man, got in the butt. Just drop racks, man, 80. One of our patrons sends us tubes of all shapes and sizes and sorts. Yeah. So they'll fit on this. Um, wheel set is very nice looking. The tires, uh, that's probably one of the um, things I'm not too excited about. It really does look like a commuter tire. You know what I mean? Like that thing yeah, looks it, like it, it, it would do it, great it, on the road. It's a yawn fest with the tires. Yawn fest with the tires. They are 29 by 2.1 inch, zero. Um, or 2.1 inches, and the issue with the rear here is um, it seems like I only can fit like a finger in there. So really, I think maybe a 2.4 might be pushing it on the rear. Uh, front, you could probably fit up like a 2.6 to 2.8. Um, but you, one of the mo things that you're one of the things you'll probably want to do is change up the fork on this bike, uh, like most of them, because that's going to be the heaviest part of this bike. I guarantee it. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and talk about the brakes. The brakes are hydraulic spark brakes. Two piston, but they're hydraulic. Okay, they're stamped for mineral oil. Um, and not only are the levers spark, but the calipers are spark. And the only reason I mention that is because I know a lot of people are like, why are you even saying that? A lot of the times, guys, the levers are complete different brands than the, um, yeah, the so calipers. Quite often. Especially if it's a budget hydraulic brakes for you guys' information, okay? So we got that. The brakes and everything else is not internally routed on this bike. 
So that's no uh, one of those things. Everything all. is exposed, not none whatsoever. Okay. And yes, we will be seeing if there is a hole for a dropper post here in a little bit. Okay. okay? Uh, let's go and talk about the group set. Group set is crazy. All right. It is a the derailleur in the rear is a Shimano Dior XT Dynasis 11 with a clutch. So you guys know what that means. We're gonna be doing a drop test with this bike. The crank set is a Nico Neco 170 millimeter crank arm hollow bottom bracket two by with a 38 tooth on the round on the outside and a 28 tooth on the inside and that's all shifted together with a Megalite uh, Shimano Olivio front derailleur um, and again nothing is um, internal everything's kind of exposed mm -hmm. but it, everything's so kind of hidden to work on. so much easier to work on but everything's kind of hidden okay um, I don't know if we're gonna be taking this two by off uh, and the crazy I thing. I don't know if it shifts good. It might have a home. I know. Uh, the cassette is an 11 to 42 uh, freewheel, uh, of course. But what's very cool about that is it actually is, is stamped made in Japan and it is a Shimano brand cassette. Um, oh, that's one thing I have to check. The cassette's Magnet not as big as it thought. Okay, the uh, all but the largest cog on the cassette are steel. Um, the largest cog is aluminum. Well, that's strange. Yeah, so kind of interesting on that. Uh, one thing I am in love with with these shifters, guys. Um, these are the. Uh, I never knew they did multi-metaled uh, cassettes. I yeah, we have we have multiple. I didn't know that. The shifters I are. Just learned something new. The Dynasty shifters and the crazy thing about I'm not sure about the. Oh, that's nuts. What I love about these shifters, guys, is we do have an a, a uh, optical window. There's no numbers on it, just an optical okay. window. I believe uh, Shimano calls it. The very cool thing is they are finger. Or thumb yeah, shifters. Which, I prefer? love it. Uh, it's because whenever you're about to go uphill, downhill, sometimes you're you're three gripping a bar, sometimes you're four gripping it, and all you can shift with is your thumb. Sometimes on the three grip, all you can shift with is your your finger, your index finger, and these will go both ways. If you haven't ridden the bike with shifters like this, you don't know what I'm talking about. But you should go ahead and do yourself a favor and get some shifters like this because they're amazing on the trails. Okay. Hopefully these ones live up to it. Yeah, hopefully they live up to it. Let's talk about the seat post tube. So the the seat or the saddle is a W. WTB uh, Volt saddle, which I've seen those things on aftermarket. Like that's an actual WTB branded saddle, which is crazy. Um, the uh, seat post tube is aluminum. It's a 27.2, so that might be a downside to some people um, and not being the thicker or the more modern size. Yeah. And the seat post uh, tube is not drilled out for any type of internal routing. So uh, if you're going to be getting a dropper post, you're going to be looking at an external, which is the end of the world. Either that or you can get one of those uh, styles that Big Sister Brandy sent us for Project Cheech. Um, that's the one that's got the lever underneath. Um, I forget the brand of that one. Um, so we've got that. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the fork. It's going to be one of the heavier things on this bike. It is the SR Suntour XCT 30 millimeter stanchions. Let me check the exposed stanchion length. They show exposed stanchion is 115 millimeters of travel. Um, so we'll probably get maybe 110 out of those things, most likely. 80 to 100 in that range. Yeah, 80 to 100. Uh, let's measure out these bars real quick. The stem is a four bolt stem, but that sucker is 105 millimeters long. 750 millimeters. All right, so we got a 750 bar with a 105 millimeter long four bolt stem. That thing is way out there. I'm curious how this bike's gonna feel, okay? Um, again, they are both aluminum, the bar and the stem. The grips are actually WTB branded grips, and they feel very good on the hand. Oh, very grippy. Uh, but they're not lock-on grips. Okay, they're just not WTB -on. regular grips. Slip-on grips. Yeah, regular little slip-on grips. Um, everything seems to be put together pretty decent on this bike. We're gonna be doing a shift test here shortly. Um, the grips are definitely a plus. I, I like those a lot, but they're just the, the slip-on grips, you know. Yeah, nothing, um, nothing fancy. Yeah, so hopefully in the Arkansas summer rain, getting your whiskey throttle and spinning in your hand. Let's do a shift test on the spike. We're going to do a drop test. And then we're going to weigh this thing, and then we're going to do a little bit of everybody's favorite positives and negatives, and uh, who this bike's for. Yeah. All right, guys, a little bit of shift test right now. We are on the uh, 28 tooth chainring, the inside chainring. Remember, this is a two by, and the 11 speed. We are in 11th gear. All right. So just shifting the Dior XT with the clutch off. Go ahead. Okay. Sounds a little clicky. A little clicky. A little clicky. There's 10. That's nine. Okay. The first one didn't give me a good click. Eight. Seven. Six. Will it go? Fifth. Fourth. Little little funky there. Third. Oh, 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 oh. A little bit of barrel yeah. adjustment. We should get it. Okay. It's a little funky. Show me second. We got second. <laughs> And we got first. Okay, so second, third, and fourth need a little bit of work, it looks like. Now, Wolfman's going to shift it. 
to the largest chain ring. Okay. Go I'm ahead. Going, I'm over here back. Whoa! Derailed. Whoa. We have derailed. It's now, does derailed. that have a barrel adjuster on it? Uh, it does. It does? Okay. It's not a friction style on the shifter? No, it's not a friction no, style. it clicked in. Not Is the best flat? in the shifting department. Hang on, I gotta hurry up and get this through. It's blinking red. Um, not the best in the shifting department, but let's uh, let's do a drop Before test. Before we do the drop test, um, let me do a standover real quick on it. Okay. I got the seat where it needs to be. Yeah, standover is great. I'm in flip flops. You're in flip flops. Yeah, standover is perfect. Small, definitely how it should be. Yeah, 29. Yep. All right, let's get to the drop test right now. We are in fifth gear, largest chain ring, um, the uh, 38 tooth up front. The clutch is off. We'll do a slow mo and then we're gonna do the clutch on. just to tell you guys that super quiet on that let's get this thing oh this thing right here look I pump 45s at the gym right this right here is gonna be 28 no no way 75 okay I think you're tripping 28.75 pounds all right all right guys in pounds Ah, oh, damn. 32.06 pounds. You've been lifting a lot of weights lately. 14.54 kilograms for all the UKers out there. Yeah. That's still pretty big. 32 pretty pounds? Good. This it's has got to be lighter than 32 pounds. I'm, I'm serious. All right, now comes the time for positives, negatives, and who this bike is for, Wolf Tick Nation. If you guys haven't already, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, especially if you're in a part of the Wolf Tick Nation. Okay. Become part of the nation. It's free. It's absolutely free, guys. Let's go ahead and do the positive negatives with the Royce Union RHT 15 inch. $252. <clears throat> Give me some positives. Okay. First positive has got to be price. Okay. I think this bike is worth quite a bit more than $250 and yep. the way it sits, but price is definitely the first positive. Second positive, I would say. And again, this is all price. I'm going to base it off of like like a $300 bike, because I think that's what most people be able to get it for, right? If it's on sale. Yeah. We had that extra money off. I don't yeah. know if it's still going. It's right about 300 Ish. Okay. So I'm, I'm thinking for that price, the fork's not bad. There's worse forks on bikes that cost more. Yes. Uh, the, I'm, I'm, the, the group set, I mean, I can't even get over the group set. The group set's set. ridiculous. The group it's got to be a clutch. The group set, it's not just a clutch, it's a Shimano group set. I mean, this group set is ridiculous for this price point. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that it's a free hub. Um, hollow bottom bracket. Hollow bottom bracket. Aluminum you know, it's, cranks. It's, it's, the tube, I don't really bother because of how nice everything is. Now that you got dialed in. Uh, the, the, the crank set's great the, it's a good looking bike yeah uh hydraulic brakes okay negatives now they're going to be nitpicky at this price point but the negatives are also the fork again i would like the fork to have been a lockout fork yeah I, but i, I know like it's, the preload stuff it's the, just like why? why yeah it's not the greatest but again it's better fork than what's yeah. on a lot of bikes uh negatives are the uh the pedals pedals are crap those like pedals those are, are bad pedals those are just yeah those are those not are kid pedals those yeah, those pedals are really bad. They're they're tiny. I would expect these on a really cheap BMX bike. Mm. It's not good pedals at all. Mm. Um, while it's not a positive or negative for me so much, I would say it would have been nice to have a tapered head tube for the masses yeah. because if everyone's caught up on that. But I know because you, we have to sacrifice that headset. Well, actually, at least not the whole thing, I guess, part of it. But you might as well do the whole thing. Yeah. Might as well do the whole top. Might as well do the whole thing, but we put that, you know, so we can put a tapered yeah. head. It's not the end of the world if you no, went to a straight steer. It's but. not. Now, again, at this price, I don't have a problem. At least it's a 44, not a 34. Yeah. I guess the only the negative I could think of is there was the ordering of this bike. 
there was zero updates on this. We couldn't find anything about it. We, it was almost acting like we never even ordered yeah, we it until sure all of a sudden it showed it. up. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so that was a little negative. Yeah. So who's this bike for? The, you know, it's really, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something that people are going to find stupid. I'm going to say something too. This bike is for everybody that rides a bike. I was going to say the same damn and thing. And let me tell you one. I was going to say the same thing. If you have a $5,000 bike, you don't want to be, if you, if you Oh, the just, tires are Kenda. No, oh, are they really? Yeah, it says Kenda. Huh. So if you're, say you're going to, you want to, something that you're going to ride to work or something that you're going to, you, you don't want to ride your $5,000 bike with really nice tires and all that that you ride on the trails. You don't want to ride that. You don't want to have that chained up outside somewhere and yeah. in the weather and all that. So this bike right here, it would be good for a commuter. It would be good for a commuter that likes to ride, a beginner that wants to ride trails and upgrade or something as he goes. Or a commuter that has some gravel roads around them yeah. that he's going to take with those tires. I, I mean, mean, yeah, no, you're right. And, and they can, you, and have the, a, you have a group set you can believe in. Well, this, that's just it. You yeah. don't have to do anything with this group set. No, this group set bit is going to, well, but I mean, you don't have to upgrade for a while. Yeah. It's going to last you a while, minus the dork disc. This will be one of the first bikes when we go to start upgrading it mm -hmm. that we go, okay, we're going to change it to a one by and all that stuff and change the whole group set. No, we're, no. we're just going to probably try to see if we can stick with that um, the hollow bottom bracket uh, crank set because we can take those chain rings off. This will be like a one by, get rid of the Olivia up here, get rid of Possibly. the shifter, and have a nasty clutched out uh, group set. I mean... Yeah. This is a, you know... But then we'd have to go bigger cassette. Yeah, but, uh, you know, this bike is a bike, like you said, for everybody, you know. Um, everybody's bike. It's the Royce Union RHD 15-inch. I For $252, again, we got like 20% off during Labor Day. If I were you guys, I'd go down the link below and see if one of these bikes may still be available. Again, yeah. they're not paying us anything for this. No, we we pursue it with our own it. money. Yeah. Um, and Homeboy, whoever helped Homeboy. us out there, let us know. Again, make sure you comment, man. We appreciate that. Yeah, I really feel bad about not remember that. Yeah. But, um, all right, guys, uh, the Royce Union, established in 1904, apparently. Uh, yeah, I had never even heard of it. I, they must have something to do with Huffy. I don't know. Because I think it, when it charged her card, it said oh, something it said about Huffy. Huffy. But, uh, so they must have something to do with Huffy. Yeah. All right, guys, well, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. All of our patrons out there, I want to give a big old shout out to each and every one of you. We'll put a little end screen right yes. now going for you. Give the patrons um, some love. Man, you know, we got the Wolf Tick Nation. Uh, you guys are great. And then we got those that buy us coffees, even, you know, even better. And then we've got the patrons who become lifelong members, become members of our channel, and get to watch this extra content, me and Wolfman over here. And you guys are appreciated. So thank you guys so yes. much. But um, it's not for everybody. Not for everybody. It's not edited, and we I, I'm known to be a little vulgar at times. Yeah, we got a cool build going there. Uh, although you did you have guys. a bingo meltdown where you got a little vulgar yourself. Yeah, a little bingo meltdown. The patrons <laughs> got to see that fair food, all that good stuff. But uh, patrons, we'll see you guys on the Patreon. And uh, Wolf Tick Nation, appreciate you guys again, man, watching the episode. We will see ya. Yeah.